Hey everyone, my name is Nathan and welcome to Hail. It's the end of Alfred Hitchcock month, but I have one more video coming for you. Today what I want to do is use all the movies that he made and enter them into an Oscars type award show. There will be similar categories to the Oscars as well as some unique categories tailored specifically to Alfred Hitchcock. There will be five nominations for each category and then the final category of Best Picture will have ten nominations. Before I go into the different categories, I want to clarify this is completely subjective. I thought about going the route of making it objective like trying to base it off audience scores and what the universal opinion is on best performance and things like that but then I realized no this is me talking about Alfred Hitchcock I don't want to get what the public's view is I want my view I want to hear your view though if you have differing opinions or if you would like to do nominations and winners please leave them in the comments feel free to do the same exact categories I do I'd love to see what your picks are so the first category is my favorite cameo the nominations for my favorite cameo are Black Male, where Alfred Hitchcock is being disturbed by a young child on a train. North by Northwest, where he misses the bus just by seconds. Lifeboat, where you can't help but just appreciate it because of how creative it is. The Birds. Although he's just walking dogs, this is the first Alfred Hitchcock cameo I ever saw because The Birds is the first movie I ever saw, so I had to make it. And Psycho. I've seen Psycho the most times of any Alfred Hitchcock movie, and so although he's just standing outside the bank, it still means a lot to me because every time I see this scene, I get really excited. And the Alfie goes to Blackmail. The reason Blackmail wins is because it is by far the most entertaining Alfred Hitchcock cameo. I also like how long we spend with Hitchcock. The only other time I can think about that we spend this long with Hitchcock is in Young and Innocent when he is a reporter with a camera. The next category is my favorite scene. The nominees are the dream sequence, Vertigo. It feels so unique to Alfred Hitchcock, but at the same time, it has those elements of suspense and uncertainty. I love the visual look of it, and I love the way I feel while I'm watching it. The big reveal, Psycho. Despite how many times I watch this movie, my heart always races when this scene comes on. I know what's going to happen, but it is so well executed. The shot of Norman Bates running in the cellar with a huge smile on his face is horrifying, and the highlight of Psycho for me. The confrontation, rear window. This is where Hitchcock shines best with his Master of Suspense title. It is so intense. You know that something bad is going to happen. You've been waiting the whole movie for something like this, and it does not disappoint. The crop duster scene, North by Northwest. From the moment that Cary Grant arrives in this location, the whole scene just feels off and unsettling, and you don't know what's going to happen, and it's just very impressive that they were able to film such an amazing scene in a movie made this long ago. The Schoolhouse in The Birds. This scene in particular sticks with me because I absolutely love the way that they shoot back from Tippi Hedren's character, back to the birds, to Tippi Hedren, to the birds, and finally she turns around and it's revealed that a lot more birds are there than we thought there are. It's very eerie hearing the school kids sing in the schoolhouse while the birds are coming and I think that the combination of the two make for a really good scene. The Alfie goes to the big reveal in Psycho. This is a hard one to crown because I love all these scenes so much but I can't deny that I love the big reveal in Psycho. Not only Norman Bates coming into the cellar but also the chair turning and seeing the dead mother. Everything in this scene works so well for me. The next category is best cinematography. The nominee are Rope, Under Capricorn, Notorious, Psycho, and Rear Window. And the Alfie goes to Rope. A case could be made about why all these movies deserve the nomination, but Rope takes the win because of just how impressed I am every time I watch it with the long shots. And the long shots aren't the only things to appreciate in this movie. You also can't help but appreciate the staging, the lighting in certain scenes, just the way everything comes together so well. Rope had to win for Best Cinematography. The next category is my favorite score. The nominees are Rear Window, Vertigo, North by Northwest, Marnie, and Psycho. And the Alfie for best score goes to Psycho. I think people tend to only think about the iconic theme that we hear in the shower scene and later on in the movie from Psycho, but there's a lot more to appreciate, especially the beginning of the movie, before Marion even gets to Bates Motel, when she's driving with the stolen money. The intense music that's playing as the thoughts are playing in her head. I love the music of Psycho so much, it had to win this. Let's get into some acting categories. The nominees for Best Supporting Actress are Janet Lee in Psycho, Judith Anderson, Rebecca, Thelma Ritter, Rear Window. Barbara Harris, Family Plot. 
and Grace Kelly, rear window. And then Alfie goes to Judith Anderson for Rebecca. Rebecca has been a very hit and miss movie with me through the years. I've said it on the channel before, but I've seen it three times and it wasn't really until a third time that I finally admitted that it is indeed a great movie. But I cannot deny that every time I saw it, even when I didn't care for it as much, Judith Anderson was the star of the movie. She is so good at being the intimidating Mrs. Danvers. Her performance demands the screen anytime she's on the camera. Now let's talk about the best supporting actor. Funny enough, I think this was the hardest group of nominees to choose from. There were so many that I wanted to include here. I found myself with more than five, but I had to get rid of some. The nominations that I stuck with are Anthony Perkins, Psycho, Farley Granger, Rope, Robert Walker, Strangers on a Train, Peter Lore, The Man Who Knew Too Much, and Claude Rains, Notorious. And the Alfie goes to Anthony Perkins from Psycho. Although this category was very hard to choose nominees for, I won't lie, it was pretty easy to choose a winner. It is amongst my favorite performances of all time. I love what he does with this character. I love how at first he comes off as a warming, generous young man who just runs a motel, but the more you get to know him, the more you realize there's a darker side to him. And as the movie progresses, he just does such a good job at lying, at stuttering, nailing the role of a person who's con psychotic. I love Anthony Perkins in Psycho. The next category, Best Actress in a Leading Role. The nominees are Ingrid Bergman, Notorious, Joan Fontaine, Rebecca, Doris Day, The Man Who Knew Too Much, Tippi Hedren, Marnie, and Teresa Wright, Shadow of a Doubt. And the Alfie goes to Doris Day. Doris Day impresses me so much here because I haven't really seen her in much. I only know her as a singer. And so to see her in an Alfred Hitchcock movie and for her to give the performance that she does, it blew my socks off. She is such a good actress, especially in the scene when she finds out that her child has been kidnapped. But not only that, she does amazing towards the end as well in the concert. It is a standout performance to me and definitely my favorite leading actress performance of Hitchcock's filmography. The nominees for best actor in a leading role are James Stewart, Vertigo, Ray Milland, Dial M for Murder, John Dahl, Rope, Cary Grant, North by Northwest, and James Stewart, Rear Window. And the Alfie goes to James Stewart for Rear Window. He does a great job in Vertigo as well, but I think it's most impressive that he's able to give the performance he does in such a limited role. In Rear Window, he is planted into that wheelchair. So the fact that he gives a performance that is my favorite male leading performance in all of Hitchcock's filmography, and he's just sitting in a wheelchair the whole time, massive credit to him, very impressive. Even with these limitations, he is able to give a performance that puts you on his side, makes you curious of what he's talking about, and you're just as involved in this whole mysterious case as he is. The highlight scene for me is when Grace Kelly is in the neighbor's house and James Stewart knows she's trapped in there and he starts freaking out. He is so good at showing that emotion that he truly is scared and he just wants Lisa to get out safely. Now when it comes to best directing, this is kind of a funny category because obviously Alfred Hitchcock is going to be nominated for every single nomination. But the way I look at this is when did he do his best work as a director? The nominees are Vertigo, Psycho, Notorious, Rope, and Rear Window. And the Alfie goes to Psycho. Even beyond Psycho being such a great movie and having so many good things about it, if you look into the story of how Alfred Hitchcock actually directed this movie, he went through so much to make sure this movie happened. The studio was very against using certain scenes because it was too violent, too dark, it went against their censor rules. On top of that, they thought it would be a failure, so Hitchcock financed a lot of the project. Hitch also used his TV crew to make Psycho, which is insane to think because he obviously normally uses his movie crew. All of these things and more makes Psycho Hitchcock's best directorial job. Not only did he go through a lot of stuff to make this movie happen, but the final product we got was a masterpiece. And finally, the nominees for Best Picture from Alfred Hitchcock. Now this category is a little different from my other categories. In the other categories, I was very subjective on what my opinion was. While my 10 nominees are still very subjective, you'll notice that the 10 movies nominated here don't line up with my top 10 Alfred Hitchcock movies. This is because I did feel like some movies deserve to be amongst the nominees for his best movie over ones that even I declare to be better. So that being said, the nominees for best picture are Rope, 
Vertigo. Rear Window. Notorious. Rebecca. Strangers on a Train. North by Northwest. Psycho. Shadow of a Doubt. And Dial M for Murder. And the Alfie for Best Picture goes to, is it a surprise? It's Psycho. For the same reasons that he deserves Best Director, he deserves Best Picture for Psycho. The fact that he was able to make this movie happen, to scare audiences all around the world, and that today the movie is still so iconic, it deserves that title of Best Picture from Alfred Hitchcock. Thank you everyone for watching. Thank you for joining me for Alfred Hitchcock Month. It has been such a blast talking about Hitchcock. I've enjoyed researching, watching these movies, and I've enjoyed it reading each of your comments. Comments. They mean the world to me. I'd love to hear who you would nominate for my categories and who you think should win. Leave your comments in the comment section. That's all I have today. Hope you have a great day.